The following video will compare the Yokogawa DL9000 to the Agilent 6000 series with respect to performance and usability. In order to produce a 100 MHz product, the Agilent makes hardware sacrifices, such as a smaller, lower quality display, fewer user controls, and an instrument body that is largely empty. Many useful functions such as DSP filters, waveform parameter analysis, and state mode display of digital signals simply don't exist. The Yokogawa DL9000 offers superior hardware and mixed signal functions. To catch a specific packet of zeros and ones, you need a serial bitstream trigger. The DL9000 has dedicated hardware to trigger on any binary pattern of up to 128 bits. On the Agilent, you can't isolate an arbitrary binary pattern. Even when you've captured the correct digital signal, you'll need to go through the manual process of visually decoding zeros and ones on the screen. That's because Agilent lacks a binary serial cursor. A feature of the DL9000 which automatically decodes binary directly from the on-screen cursor position. And, despite being labeled as mixed signal oscilloscopes, the Agilent MSO models are missing a critical logic analyzer type function, state display mode. Being able to switch between timing and state display modes is especially important for troubleshooting mixed signal circuits. When you're observing several channels, it's important to see details clearly. Overlapping displays are confusing, and the Agilent falls short in this area. The Yokogawa DL9000 gives you waveform partitioning on the display. It lets you set a ratio between the analog and logic display portions. On the Agilent, you need to manually change the gain and position of multiple waveforms so they don't overlap. Reducing gain also reduces voltage resolution, so your 8-bit oscilloscope may effectively operate at just 6 bits or less. Since you can't separate logic channels on the Agilent either, you'll need to choose between the same resolution compromise or settle for overlapping waveforms. Two key technologies for detecting glitches are display persistence and memory management. The Agilent unit offers persistence when it's running, but when you see an anomaly and press stop, the persistence disappears. Only with infinite persistence activated can you keep a glitch present on the display. But when you pan or zoom in to see details, watch what happens to the glitch. It's gone again. That's because Agilent's persistence is strictly a display method and not a memory management technology. On the DL9000, you can zoom into any area of past waveforms. Using Yokogawa's unique history memory, you can separate past waveforms one by one. You can extract and save these anomalies by themselves or view their timestamps among other triggers. Count-based persistence is an alternative method used to preserve waveforms which occur sporadically. Rather than fading out over time, the DL9000 will persist the most recent waveforms, even if there is a large time gap between triggers. The DL9000 can also use the entire color spectrum as a palette, making infrequent glitches stand out visually. Only Yokogawa oscilloscopes offer count-based persistence, color spectrum accumulation, and the ability to turn persistence completely off when you don't need it. Yokogawa's analysis and math capabilities far exceed the Agilent. This is important for waveform characterization, a common need when acquiring repetitive waveforms. The Yokogawa DL9000 lets you select from a larger set of parameters, and it lets you measure more parameters simultaneously. Selecting rise time in both instruments, the Agilent unit can only display a basic snapshot. On the other hand, the DL9000 gives you continuous statistics of the rise time measurement, including max, min, mean, and standard deviation over multiple acquisitions. Use the DL9000's advanced analysis tools for further insight. Here, you can trend parameters like rise time to understand how changes correlate with external effects, or study a histogram of its distribution. 
The DL9000 can even perform cycle-by-cycle -cycle parameter measurements, so you'll be able to catch a single clock cycle with an abnormal characteristic. You're out of luck if you wish to perform any kind of parameter analysis on the Agilent. It simply doesn't offer these functions. The Yokogawa DL9000 Signal Explorer stands alone. It is easy to use and gives you an incredible assortment of display, analysis, trigger, and connectivity tools. For a complete demonstration or lab evaluation, please contact your local Yokogawa sales engineer. Thank you for watching.